So I know I'm pretty late, about two to three weeks worth of uh, lateness when it comes to Watch Dogs 2 and what's been going on ever since Title Update 1.15 came out, and that's probably because I've been busy playing the game too much or busy doing other work such as school stuff, work, actual work, and assignments and all that stuff, or just playing other games just for the hell of it because I really need to take a break from Watch Dogs 2 and all the stuff that's going on in there. Trust me, after playing it ever since the you know game came out you start to realize what you're doing with your life and just need to go ahead and get it situated out but besides that life is strange is completely free for playstation members in june which is as of right now that and the gun running dlc for grand theft auto online is going to come out next week the 13th to be specific so i just want to go ahead and try to see if i can go ahead and get this video straightened out in about seven minutes or less so the first two things that we're going to talk about, well basically the only two things we're going to talk about is the ranking sections as well as the buff on the bounty hunter targets. Now to start off with the ranking sections, now if you've noticed and I'm pretty sure you may have caught a glimpse of it as you know you started out the season, basically every ranking section all the way from recruit all the way to the master section is now put down under lock. By that I mean they're placed in the different sections. By that I mean that about every one to two days a new section will open up. So if you're having trouble trying to catch up with the pro players of Watch Dogs 2 as well as you know just being casual at the game then you have a good chance because everyone's going to be in the same position until the next rank unlocks like for example if you're all in the recruit status and you're still playing against each other like in i don't know bounty hunter or racing for this matter then you start to accumulate points it will not carry over until the next rank unlocks such as bronze for example and that opens in about two days so basically all the points you manage to get up until that point will start to stay Back up and good news you basically won't have to you know grind for the very next section because you're already into bronze 5 or silver 5 gold 5 diamond 5 or masters completely so you know just don't try to grind out as much as possible and that's all there is to on that one just keep in mind that sometimes some of the sessions could be a bit glitchy and you know you have to try to work your way out of that sort of thing because sometimes you think that you're trying to go for a different game mode but you're really not you're stuck in the same session so you actually quit the section via via the uh, game options menu and all the other stuff um yeah it's that time of the month guys now, as for Bounty Hunter, I'm pretty sure you guys already caught a glimpse of what's going on within the game mode, but do you remember when Ubisoft stated that the game sessions are usually too quick because you die either by opposing players or mostly the cops? Yeah, they decided to change that a bit, but in this case, they decided to make the, t the players uh, tanks, I guess you could say, because no matter how much damage you put into them, they still walk away unscratched and unscathed like they're the goddamn Terminator. Now, excuse my language on that, but it's like, come on, you gotta give me a break. You know it's crazy when you have to try to use four explosives to go ahead and kill a single person. I mean, where's the realness in that? After playing through a few sessions of Bounty Hunter as the target, I have to tell you, it is straight cheese, especially if you know what you're doing. Now, after the few sessions that I've been in, I realized that there are four ways to actually kill me or anyone else for that matter. One, melee. Two, air takedown melee. Three, a shit ton of headshots. Or four, four explosives. And I'm not even joking, someone actually had to run up to me and actually melee me in order to stop me from, you know, making a complete rampage all around the San Fran Bay area and trust me it's quite crazy now if you attempt to actually melee your target just know that they're going to be always usually one step ahead of you and they know what you're going to try to do because the same thing that you're trying to do is the same thing they're going to try to do to you and in some sessions I managed to get away with it but in some sessions it was like it, it was complete weirdness I don't even know how to explain it either they did it to me beforehand or it's just like what the hell is going on What the hell? What the hell? 
like seriously this is a really complete game changer when it comes to bounty hunter now because i'm pretty sure after all the sessions that you went through i'm pretty sure that most people want to go ahead and be the target now because they can get many easy kills and not you know feel the repercussions of it because i'm afraid about what's going to happen when certain people start entering certain lobbies as a target either they'll do wall breach maneuvers stand on rooftops all day just sniping the hell out of you or just proceed to camp in a little small area that they know they won't be able to get killed in because you're dumb enough to run in there trust me i'm the same kind of way because if you know what's going on and you happen to run in there guess what you done played yourself in more ways than one Congratulations, you played yourself. All in all, I honestly hope Ubisoft sees the error of their way when they made this patch for the game, specifically 1.15 when it comes to buffing the target so that the sessions don't end quickly because now it's almost like a turtle war zone. Now you have to actually use stronger weapons in order to get an advantage over your opponent and even that's not going to stop them. Trust me, I've taken a few grenade shells and like it literally hasn't done nothing to me. It's like, okay. Ha, ah, I can still kill you. Trust me, when you shoot a grenade launcher at someone right next to a car, and you see a big explosion and you still end up dead, you realize there's something wrong with it. And for those who are thinking that this is perfectly balanced, SHUT YOUR FUCKING MOUTH! But anyways, that's all I have to say for this video. Didn't want to take up your time with it because, you know, I gotta move on to something else. Gun running DLC for uh, GTA Online is coming out next week and I want to go ahead and start getting some moolah for it, you know. Cha-ching, cha-ching, ba-bling, ba-bling. Peace.